Kelly's Eye, brought to you by Ellis Brown Architects. Peter, on this glorious Saturday afternoon, the sun shining on the top of our bald heads, what are you looking at today? Uh, you've caught me there, you see, I haven't had time to think. Um, you know why the sun is shining, don't you? And, and it's bright and the birds are singing and the cows are mooing. No, why is that? Just because it's springtime, is no, it? No, because we're in Onken. Ah. Just in Onken, mind you. Only just. Yes. We're down at Tremode, which is different from Cronkbourne. Uh, the boundary's the river, and we've come out behind what at one time was Clippis's Laundry. And Kelly's eye is looking at a modern building. And it's sort of got a half moon up there, but it's really half a C, and it intertwines with half a B. Ah. Which is a logo, I presume, because underneath it says Cubbon and Brigazzi. Yes, not Cubbon and Brigazzi, or Cubbon, but Cubbin. Cubbin, yes. Mm. Um, this is their new premises. We're, we're down in, in what is technically the Tremode uh, industrial estate, um, but here we have a, a retail unit. It's modern, it has four pillars on the front. It has uh, probably fiberglass um, section up above, which is the, the shape of the roof, the tympanum, upon which is, is the name and the logo. Um, behind that, it has darkened glass for the full width of the frontage. And to the right of it, uh, we have sort of a in typical industrial unit, which is part yellow brick and then part... Um, brown self-covered um, sheeting mm. going over the brick uh, in a sort of modern cut-out design. I suppose I could say to you, does it remind you of anything? Well, I'm not, not sure, entirely sure that it reminds me of anything. What I do know is that it's vastly different from the Cubbon Brigazzi we remember in Douglas. <laughs> right. Well, just look to your left and yes. you'll see what it reminds you of. It reminds you of that, ah. that industrial building, <laughs> which has only got two pillars in front, but yes. similar design. And, and of course, they, they've had the, that's panel craft. They've, they've had the problem there of, of the sun coming in and getting extremely mm. hot. Yeah. So, in, in fact, the upper part of the windows has been whitened out. Here, um, uh, as, as a showroom, uh, we've not been inside. I'm, I'm sure it, it, it's ideal. Uh, but in terms of the fact that it's got these darkened windows, it, it doesn't invite you in. But I no. suppose if you know you're coming to the shop and you're coming to an industrial estate, then, then you're looking for it. You're not looking for what's in the window. The darkened windows are to keep out the sun, aren't they, of course? Yeah, yes, very much so. And, of course, the sun is right on it because yeah. the front of it is, is uh, almost facing south. It's an unusual sort of sight, this, for an industrial site. In fact, it's better laid out than most of the others we'll see around the island, isn't it? True, um, and certainly up, up until the, this one, they were all um, uh, either wholesale or manufacturing or w whatever. Mm. Um, the area, of course, on, on which this group, this, this, this is the latest group to be built here, um, was for many years football pitch and... Um, did you ever play football, cricket Played here? cricket here, yes, yes. Not so far away, uh, by the stream to the far side of the uh, Boundary River, I, I think we'd still find some of the bricks from the base of the cricket pavilion. Right. Well, I, I don't remember that. I, I remember on this side uh, changing huts for for the football. That's right. Um, yes. That they, they were close to the main river up on that side, of course. It's the mill race, which is still there. Mm. Water still flows down it and, and then cascades uh, down the side. But, yes, I, I think, as you say, compared to some of the others where you get an awful lot of accumulation of rubbish and stuff outside, it's neat and tidy. It's not finished. There's, there's room for another unit uh, here yet and, and no doubt the laundry itself will disappear and be replaced by units. But, yes, it's neat, it's tidy and it's in Auckland. Many of the most iconic buildings around the island have been designed by Ellis Brown Architects. Keep up with Ellis Brown today on Facebook or by ellisbrown.im.